Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is an instructional video to play Minarets by Dave Matthews. And we'll go ahead and jump right in. And you want to start down here. We'll start off with the uh, verses and how those work and how they function. What we're going to do is we're going to start with this basic strum pattern. And you want to bring your fingers down here to the bar chord of the E, which is going to be, or the power chord, which would be 7 and 9, respectively, to the A and D string. So you would start off with this strum pattern. See, there we go, my hand's right here. So it's just... And for those of you who like to watch the rhythm, I'll just bring my hand over here so you can see it. Let me see here. doing there is you're just muting the strings up here and you're playing that um, that basic rhythm at the beginning there and now he takes that rhythm and he applies it to his song and that's where he's going to start moving his fingers around a little bit more and uh, create the verses so what he does is he takes his fingers and he goes from this 7 and 9 to 7 and 7 which I'm my fingers. I'm just using one finger to cover it. And then I'm playing 7 and 6. And I'm going to slide down. These fingers aren't doing anything, by the way. Slide down. One, or slide up one fret. My bad. Slide up one fret to 8 and 7. And then go back to 7. To 7 and six. So it sounds something like this. And if you listen closely, you can hear that same pattern going on at the beginning there. It's that dun, dun. So I'm going to try to play a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get my fingers otherwise so you can see that. Let me see here. So that's kind of the verses. And then if we look up here, it's the same exact pattern that you, it, once you get this down, you just bring it up here. And my first fret is actually like, let me get this on camera. My first fret's like right here. So I'm, I'm only, I'm not that far away from the top. My second fret is where this pointer finger is on right now. So you just want to basically want to just drop one string. So I'm going to drop down one string. Up, down, I'm going to go down one string. And I'm going to play the exact same pattern except on 2 and 4, the frets 2 and 4, on the D and G string res respectively. So it's going to go, see so how that same pattern, and that's on the 1st and 2nd fret there. So it sounds like... The difference though in the sound is coming from this A string. Because he's using an E string bass at first, then he goes to an A string. So you kind of hear that different than his vocals, and that's how it changes it. So that's where you kind of hear that different sound. And he's going to go from here to the chorus, which if I play it slowly, this is what it'll sound like. It sounds something like. And I'll call out the tablature real quick, just for those who are more visual. I'll do it one more time. And so the tabs on that would be 7, 9, 11. Oops, I forgot to hit the string. Um, 7 on E, 9 on A, 11 on D, 9 on D, 7 on D, 6 on D, 5 on D, 4 on D, and go back to the uh, deep E string, 5 on that E string, that would be 7 on the A string, 8 on the A string, 
then you're going to go to uh, 6 on the D string, hammer on to 7, and then you're going to go back to the A string, 7, 8, 7. So again, slowly. One more time. So all together it kind of sounds like, or at least for the chorus, it sounds like this. What you do with the verses now, you play this part. That's the third time I'm playing it. And on the fourth time, you do the kind of little drag. And then you actually start with the high notes at the beginning of the each measure. So we go like this. Then we play two deep ones. much minarets and I hope you all enjoyed it and yeah, if you need help just comment below and I'll try to answer as fast as possible and thanks so much for watching